When I first heard the word long ago, I thought, gee whiz, that's a very fancy word. So what's a hypothesis? A hypothesis consists either of a suggested explanation for an observable phenomenon or of a reasoned proposal predicting a possible causal correlation among multiple phenomena. So it's an idea which is tested? Yeah. So a hypothesis is a question you can test, and the students understand that very well. That's the essence of launching their project. project was actually DNA mystery heats up and um, it's the effect of water temperature on DNA extraction. In the instructions it uh, specifically said a temperature that you should use to extract the DNA at. So I kind of played off of that and thought is that really the best temperature and could there be a better way to do it? My hypothesis was that I thought that um, Walls had more bacteria in the bathrooms than on the escalators. My original hypothesis was that if yeast is provided four different nutrient sources, water, sugar, flour, and corn syrup, then sugar would produce the greatest amount of growth and ferment the fastest. I originally wanted to know what grass grew best in, but grass wasn't as cool to look at as pepper plants, and they like hot peppers. So I grew these in different pH levels, and my hypothesis was that they would grow best from 5 to 7.5. My project was seeing if the, temp the, the temperature affected how the cricket songs changed, and it was fascinating to see that they really did change. I found out that starch is an organic polymer and plastic is a polymer. So I was thinking that I could produce a new kind of polymer which could be broken down. Um, ants only have pheromones to communicate. Um, everything that they do is based on pheromones. They need to pick up this chemical and process it, figure out what needs to be done with that chemical. My hypothesis for these ants was that they, they would be able to pick up the trails of the other ants, follow them down the same way. I saw the Minnesota bridge collapse and I wanted to know why this horrific event would happen. My hypothesis was that narrow and deep pitting shapes would cause a greater reduction in beam strength than shallow and wide pitting shapes. Well, my project was fun in the tub, uh, the effect of pH level on metal corrosion, and I came up with it because I have a hot tub and we have to maintain this certain pH level, so I thought what would happen if you did not maintain the pH level, at what pH level would it corrode the most? Um, my hypothesis was that water would be able to be used um, to passively heat a house with solar heat. And then I just wanted to test that it would work over a 12 hour period. So my hypothesis was that the addition of various pesticides would inhibit bacterial growth in soil beneficial to development of plants. So my hypothesis was that um, the sleep deprived cockroaches would have poorer memory retention than those who that had been allowed to rest. The space shuttle that I heard of had difficulty with its epoxy and its adhesion of the aluminum. I hypothesized that by adding an appropriate epoxy and an appropriate surface finish, it would increase the adhesion to the aluminum. Well, what strikes me is how much the students enjoy describing their hypotheses. Of course, they soon discover that not all hypotheses work out. Uh, hypothesis is really, of course, a fancy word for a guess. In fact, it's disappointing when the data comes out just the way we expected. Then we haven't chosen an ambitious enough problem or understood how to ask a deep enough question. Science is about not, not, not about what we know, it's about what we don't know. Uh, and that's what you're led to when your hypothesis doesn't quite Check.